Well, this is a nice place to start. <laughs> right, last time I believe... Okay, well, I had a portal open for one. But I'm not sure how much I really want to waste on that versus just getting our... Just double-checking what I had in all my containers. Um, uh, we're currently taking forever to get the plants up, and the we're only halfway to the T2 mutagen insects. I really want the insect spreader rocket, so that's just along the common biomass track, which means doubling down more on plants more than anything, I think, because they accumulate a lot faster, I suspect. Uh, T3 tree spreader is, yeah, 1250 plants, which is quite a lot. <laughs> I need to make more trees, which means I need to synthesize more of them, which means, um, means I need more tree bark as well. Uh, I can get a lot of the 175s and the 150s. I need to bear in mind that I have a lot of seeds here, and the game gave me those seeds to do something with. That's the bit that I've been ignoring a lot. And I've also got these here. Now, they're oxygen multiplier, not plant multiplier, but still. That's just a sign that we need to make more tree spreader things. So we need a lot of T2 fertilizer. For that, we need a lot of T1 fertilizer. For that, we need a lot more eggplants. We should probably stop making mushrooms. We can also stop making beans now, I think, because those were for trade things, which I actually don't care about much anymore. Uh, what's in our fertilizer locker at the moment? Oh, we have tons. Okay, I have no excuse. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get cracking on making. I can make two immediately. What do I need for tier two fertilizer? Elga and squash, and then methane cartridges. I should, actually, I should just go gather more, shouldn't I? Um, I put one over here. Oh, I'm getting nitrogen already. Hang on. This is a tier one. How am I getting nitrogen from that? Okay, I assumed that I would only get that from tier two. But uh, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, squash and algae, which we don't have close at hand. Cool. Uh, that's why I wasn't placing more of those trees. I don't really like the big red leaves. <laughs> but I've just got to kind of, yeah, give up the... The fact that I don't like the monocultures of things and just kind of deal with it <laughs> and place them down here. I can place them further away as well so I don't have to look at them. Uh, so three tree bark, three super alloy. I have three tree bark, though where's my tier two biodomes? Did I place one of them down here at all? No, I haven't yet. So it's still only up there for tree bark. I should probably just place a second one somewhere. So... If I didn't have all of these here, I could put my trees off the back. Otherwise, I probably can't attach it to my base right now. Because this is going to clip into that, isn't it? I can just slap it on top for now, probably. I'd need to place a separate door, is the problem there. Um, I c I'm not deconstructing all of these right now. I could put it at the other end of the butterfly house. Let's just do that, shall we? I lock it. There we go. That means I can produce more tree bark, so I can synthesize more trees in order to go into more tree spreaders as I get the ability to place them. I don't have many other fuses to boost them right now. Oh yeah, food level low. That was something I also needed to do something about, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't have anything to, to boost them with. So I don't need to worry about like a multiplier or anything. Also, I just want to place them further away from my base, because I don't want things just growing into my base constantly. <laughs> now, where are my portals at the moment? So, this one here, I'm actually going to name home. Where's 19 or 11? Oh, okay, yep, that was up this part, by this wreck. Were we still exploring this wreck, were we? I can't remember. <laughs> Well, we can just slap down some tree spreaders up here and be done with it. Because why not? There, oh, I don't have enough bacteria samples. Okay, two more of those. And let's let's get the tree planted. Let's get this growth going. So we just need our biomass to 
accelerate. And we can rename this Archers for now. Where's minus 1370? Ah, that's this one. Okay, cool. Well, that's uh, Oasis. Yep, we've got some growing already. One there. I will make like one of each thing. And it really hampers my ability to progress <laughs> sometimes. I don't escalate as much as I should. Um, I've got a pretty empty inventory, so let's see what there was still in here. Oh, I had only just busted this open, turns out. I've just got another maze to get through. Yes, I haven't been in here yet, it seems. Oh, I went into the other one, that's right, and then I got confused because I thought I'd been in this one. 5,000 tier tokens. Yeah, see, why bother doing the trading <laughs> when I just get that just given to me? Ah, uh, dear. Broken game mechanics. That's what it feels like anyway. Okay, stairs going up there. There's more containers here. Okay, I'm going to have to be picky. The other thing that I was ignoring is the fact that I was getting so much rocket engines, and that should have been a clue that I should be building more rockets, <laughs> not just sending them away in the trade rocket. And you're getting all of these Pistera seeds. Yeah, they're only a 200 oxygen multiplier, so what? Not better than nothing. Nothing in here. Ah, here's the power supply. Okay, so it's up the stairs. Oh, another access card as well. I'll leave that there because I'll be coming back regardless to do the power supply. Alright. So we need to get up the stairs. I did make a suggestion in the, one of the discussion threads on Steam that there should really be a blueprint that you unlock that allows you to map wrecks. There's lava in here though. There we go. Found our way out. Oh, there was a tier 2 heater for some reason. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to need more tier 2 lockers now. <laughs> okay. And I really need to do more things with these seeds as well. And I know I was just talking about how I should use the... No, that screwed things up. How I should use the rocket engines, but... I might just send some on their way first. <laughs> there we go. Now uh, we can also just start emptying out these... But there is never going to be this many blueprints in the game, right? I think... That w, okay. Uh, we can get rid of you now. And we can make yet another tier 2 locker. I am very glad that they do allow you to just kind of bust open the game like this. I feel it should cost more to place. <laughs> but let's put that in there. Why not? Uh, we can now probably put the osmium and osmium bars in the same thing. My inventory isn't big enough <laughs> for all of this. There we go. Uh, and you know what? Let's just fill it out with rocket engines and send it on its way. And then at least we'll get the, the fuses that we want. So put those in there. Three of those. Ah, well. There you go. Have, have one of those. Goodbye. So I need to make another energy cell. So two more pulsar quartz, osmium, and... Grab those out. We've got lots of blues and lots of yellows that we don't have much use for. I have far too many rods as well. We're going to run out of space in here again. Those might be trade fodder, quite frankly. Make the cell. I need to make more bio things and stuff as well. Even just flower spreaders. I could make a ton of flower spreaders and just make plants grow wherever I want to. Uh, I have so many seeds that I need to to use up. It's a case of at one point I stopped building more things because of scarcity. Now scarcity isn't an issue, but I've still forgotten to pick back up and just build lots more things, <laughs> which I, I need to do. Let's go back to the archer's base and uh, let's just place down some flower spreaders now around where I put the tree spreaders. <laughs> Golden seed. Golden seed. So it boosts oxygen. 
makes an amount of plants. It's better than nothing. Ooh, hello. Another special butterfly larva. That's the other thing. I need to build more butterfly farms. Which, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. they needed the bioplastic nuggets, that's right. That's why I was making the mushrooms. I wish I was looting more bioplastic nuggets. I used to loot lots of those. Haven't seen them in ages. I need to go check on my resource extractor as well. Yeah, well, I can make one of them. And then I just need some zeolites, which is where we put our extractor down. Food level, I have a squash for that. Kind of wish I'd put my base inside here in some respects, but I'd be very restricted on the ability to expand, so probably better that I didn't. Let's uh, stop off the drinking pool. Here's my big heater area. Still that block of ice just hasn't disappeared. I would really love to get to a point that I just don't have scarcity on pulsar quartz too much, so then I can place down some more teleporters between outposts. So I have three, which is a good start. There we go, let's extract all of those. Oh hey, and a silicon, I needed that. <laughs> so now I need to go to my water collectors. The lighting shifts between the biomes is really a, a little bit too extreme, it must be said. All right, butterfly farms. What else was I doing? I should have put this inside instead, probably, <laughs> rather than having to come outside every time. I got too captivated by the fact that I could put them outside. I missed the fact that I can just put them inside like a normal person. Butterfly farm, butterfly farm. Oh, okay. We are finally stretching our power too much again. Interesting. But the teleporter still works, so that's fine. Just all of the te the terraformation stuff shuts down. Uh, you know what? I can upgrade some tier 1 solar panels to tier 2s, can't I? Pretty easily. Yeah, it just takes magnesium and aluminium. I have some of both of those. So two magnesium. And I have a ton of aluminium. It probably won't be quite enough, but we've just got these two things sitting there. Kind of being annoying. Uh, let's instead put them down. And there was enough. There you go. Oh, they are placed completely wrongly, but who cares? <laughs> and we have all of these up the top here that we could do the same thing with at some point. Um, I mean, we did talk about getting rid of this so we could expand the upstairs. But we don't need to do that right now. So magnesium was something that I tended to have a surplus of. And there's still quite a lot just loose around, I think. So let's gather some more of that and let's just do some upgrades. It's obviously not as good as just placing down another nuclear or uh, fusion. We do have the, fu uh, the uh, energy multiplier active with a couple of the fusion reactors. Your teleporter wouldn't work when I lost power? Interesting. It, I guess mine likes me more. I don't know. Maybe it was just too recent that it hadn't disabled. I don't know. That's weird. But um, I'll take it to my advantage. <laughs> so yeah, we've got three nuclear fusion generators. Six tier twos. So technically we could also boost the production of a tier two nuclear if we placed it closer to where the amplifier is. The multipliers. We still have six wind turbines. They're doing their best. <laughs> uh, but we need to convert more of these into more of those, basically. So that we don't lose power as I'm doing this. We'll do them kind of gradually. You know, it's not much, but it's at least something. You know, it makes sense to be more efficient with our power usage, right? Alrighty, so let's boost us more insects and stuff. Let's review things. We're 66% of the way to amphibians from fish. We really need to place more fish down, but that's what we needed the T2 uh, mutagen for, largely. Unless we've unlocked more things in the meantime. We're almost at T6 backpack, which is nice. I kind of want that. We have a lot of the ingredients for that, though, so that's actually easy. We can make a lot of pulsar quartz for ourselves. What do you like? 
Sweet. I don't know why you had nitrogen in before. That I'm sure that should just be from a tier two, not a tier one. Maybe it's just yeah. See, there's nitrogen here too. Maybe it's just teasing. I don't know. <laughs> In which case, what's the difference in a tier 2? Why, why would I make that? A layer of fish eggs. Okay, I should see whether or not those require different things so that I can hopefully make them tier 2 mutagen. Oh, tier 3 mutagen. I think I can actually make tier 3 mutagens, can't I? Do I have tier 3? Yeah, I have tier 3. That's right. <laughs> That's the bizarre thing. Uh, and I have a few of them in stock. I have so many tier 2s now from all the wreck diving I've been doing. I have just not been paying attention. That's the thing is I really need a, to double down on some of these things. Um, we can place more aquariums. They take up a lot of room, unfortunately. It's the other annoying thing. Uh, uh, but we can... Now that we've cleared our roof, we can maybe slap down a living compartment up there. We can't expand horizontally very easily because of how trees have grown, but we can go vertical. A little bit more easily. I also do need to build a drone platform because they are useful for collecting things like that. They have very limited inventory. My understanding is that the, oh, it takes a fusion energy cell to do that. Rude. But you're getting powered by my power grid, surely. <laughs> I'm gonna have to solve my power woes before I do that. I really need to place down two more of those next to the thing. Um, oh, but I was going to also upgrade that to a, a tier 2 optimizer. Well, let's grab three obsidian out. I'm going to have to go collect more obsidian <laughs> or move our miner again. Uh, and that's going to... Everything, everything stops. <laughs> and let's put that there and put that back in. And we'll have the ability to do two more, which is rather nice. What sort of room did we clear? Not enough. We're going to have to move those as well or upgrade five more uh, of those but then we can put a two by two on top we won't be able to fit a three by three but that's fine that's a start we could then put a three by three on top of that perhaps <laughs> and just yeah go go bigger as we go up which is kind of funny um so we need more magnesium that's fine so it's five more of those let's get five more magnesium once again a bit of busy work to have to do just to massage our progress i really should have tweaked some of the multipliers and made it so that maybe things didn't need as much power would have been nice because <laughs> the power usage escalates a little bit unreasonably in my mind the fact that the drone thing takes so much power when you compare it to other things oh what have we got going on here oh it's a pulsar quartz one yes Excellent, that's what I like to see. Come to me. They move so slow. This is a good way to get the achievement for getting hit by an asteroid, actually, because uh, these ones move so slow you can really get yourself into position and just fly up to it. I don't want to because I think they'll probably kill me, but boom. Somehow my drills survive. Lolly scramble. I'm going to have to wait for everything to despawn now. Oh, there we go. There's, there's one. There we go. The mother load. I'm kind of glad that it hit my drill, actually, because it broke apart in such a way that I can grab everything. Well, that was fortuitous, because I was just talking about my power grid and how I needed to get more fusion reactors, and now I have the ability to do so. Uh, but we're going to have to wait until some of the shrapnel clears, aren't we? I wonder if I could just save and reload, but then the resources might despawn as well, so I don't want to risk it. Uh, well, we have enough for one and another power cell if we want. Okay, that's all I can do without being full. Let's move these down. So I've got these along by the drills, is <laughs> the other funny thing. Now let's put some along here by the launch pad instead, shall we? Okay, apparently it doesn't want to be placed down here now. Huh? Excuse you? That was weird. <laughs> now I should be able to deconstruct th the other three, I think. 
because they don't, yeah, use much materials. Cool. Oh, my trade rocket's back now as well, so I can get my things out. I can actually crunch these up a lot more. It's doing it again. It's weird. It's like it hits a clipping thing while it's rotating and then goes, nope. Yeah, did it again. That's so weird. There we go. Cool. Plant multipliers. Let's go place those. And then maybe I do actually want to place a multiplier up by the arches where I put that other one down. Because then I can start multiplying those as well. And then I want four super alloy. And then I can place down two more. Or one more. Yeah, I'm slightly short for two more. One more uh, fusion. Which is going to make my power worries completely disappear for the time being. I won't have to worry about min-maxing on... Uh, whatchamacallits. I can't really put that there with my aquarium right there. Uh, you know what? I don't even need to interact with my aquarium anymore. It doesn't matter. Uh, but let's actually put it right up behind here. I should put it in the middle first. Uh, let's... Oh, I can just clip it inside that one pretty much. Okay, I should be able to put another one there, another one there if I want. And we can boost up to... Uh, four more? Yeah, four more. Alright, power, no longer a problem. Uh, two osmium, one obsidian, make another energy cell, three obsidian. We have the multiplier out here that we can upgrade instead of going to the other area. Uh, but we should have the ability to place down the materials that I deconstruct from this one. I want to be able to place the other one. Oh, which means I might as well just place the new one. And be done with it. Two explosive powder and one uranium rod. Explosive powder. Uranium rod. Alright. To the arches. And then in here, we've got a sort of weird hexagon-ish sort of thing. So we can place two more things down as well. There we go. Boost. All of that. Nice. That should help. Uh, we needed a fusion energy cell for this wreck as well, I think. So let's do that now. Actually, you know what? Let's be the responsible. And let's one, eat to find a pool to drink from so we don't waste our water bottle so we have the water bottle in reserve for when we're actually in the wreck how's that there we go now we can go wreck diving